Uh, greetings, Taurus, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. Uh, let's dive right in and see uh, what the cards have uh, for you today. And then um, I will clarify with uh, the tarot. Uh, I'll be using uh, various oracle uh, cards to uh, set the theme and the imagery. What is uh, on your mind? What is it that you need to look into? Uh, and this is what I have from the ancestor oracles. And what's coming in is uh, the sense of the wise one. Uh, uh, this is uh, this Im image of an ancient one coming to you, perhaps in a dream, a visitation. Um, as the uh, veil opens, the portal is um, um, flung open. And there is a sense of receiving this wisdom from an owl. You could be seeing owls. And uh, if you do, uh, you can also recognize that you might have been seeing a raven at the same time. Or uh, they're just opposing uh, those energies of flight, of that silence in the night, of the wisdom, but also of very uh, high intelligence uh, that's coming. And there is also the image of the witch. And this is, the owl is here again. So you have these owl spirits coming together uh, from maybe an ancient one and someone who's very young, younger than you, uh, that's very uh, innocent, naive, and not in a bad way, but uh, go away, O oh human child, to the waters and the wild. The world's too full of weeping for you to understand. Um, because look, her owl has uh, antlers because she has that antenna, that deeper understanding um, around the um, metamorphosis, the butterfly in her hair. She's going through a change, uh, but the change is coming in her mind because she's gaining this inner wisdom. Uh, and that's coming because what is it that the angels want to clarify today for you? They're clarifying vulnerability and freedom. Well, the light that uh, when you are be the light, there is this vulnerability and freedom uh, that is coming. Uh, but to open up to that star requires that a sense of uh, letting go of any um, feeling of fear and opening to the love that's all around you. And that allows us to be vulnerable in any situation at the same time maintaining our boundary of freedom. And that's why we put up boundaries. Uh, it's to um, express our freedom as well. And then we have a vibrational energy uh, coming. And uh, Taurus, this is coming for you uh, with the vibration of healing, 29. And 2 and 9 is 11. And we're coming into that time of the 1111 portal of manifestation. And this is a beautiful uh, sea urchin, almost energy, cosmic, uh, from the uh, asteroid, the astral realm. And the frequency of healing is powerful because healing is that sense of joining, of becoming aligned, of realigning uh, with our uh, higher self. Uh, and that is how we become the light, be the light. Uh, the light is healing. And the frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability, uh, Taurus, to restore our health and whole, wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses. And as I was saying uh, earlier, uh, maybe not in this reading, but I think in Sagittarius, there is that clairvoyance, but also clair. Uh, olfactory, where you smell, you get this deep insight, synchronistic information from the smells of a person around you, uh, of some energy uh, that if you are uh, maybe swimming laps in a pool and suddenly someone gets in and there's just this in deep smell, even though there's chemicals and chlorine, but you smell something significant and then you start to resonate with a story around these odors, these fragrances, uh, these uh, kind of uh, intoxicating uh, energies that you can't see but you know are there. 
And so healing comes with that information that comes through us and our, through our senses and harmonizes everything accordingly. And so that our senses are all here connecting to our antlers, those vibrational attuning forks. And you're healing uh, with vulnerability and freedom uh, because what is the card? You're coming into a sense of the wind, where the wind is movement, is change, moves things, uh, cleanses the air. You're communicating with your voice. There's a lot of blue in this energy, so it's saying to um, work on the throat chakra that could be part of the healing, healing your voice, healing that uh, expression. Because then the next one, you've got wind and stone, so that's air and earth. So that it's the wind that has eroded uh, this um, landscape through centuries of wind blowing and forming this uh, monument. And you've got the energies of the six and the four, which is 10. There's a completion a coming in. And then what is the <clears throat> card that will give you a timeline or a framework if you have a specific question or uh, energy that you want a little clarification on, Taurus? It's coming with yes. Well, today, the answer is yes, whatever that is. And you might um, have had something on your mind specifically. And I know one of you definitely uh, needed this answer, yes. And the yes is coming because it's going to be a peaceful resolution once you say yes. And out of the yes comes, um, well, you're going to ask for help from others. And that could maybe be part of the peaceful resolution. And it seems like there are two other people, or that could be two that are coming to a peaceful resolution. And that's the energy around the reading for you, Taurus. And we'll just clarify with a few cards. And I'm uh, going to do a different spread today, not the Celtic cross. So we're just going to uh, get a card for the wise one. What is it that you're growing through your current situation? Uh, what is it that this witch, the be the light, this young energy in the owl? What is this owl, um, the wise owl in the night? It's coming with victory, this wisdom, this growing within your current situation. Taurus is going to be victorious, and you're going to be the light. You're standing in the limelight. You're in the a spotlight. Uh, you're victorious. People know that. They want to shine on you. They might not have known, but you grew within your current situation uh, to be the empress. And uh, this is uncanny because, Taurus, this is you. You're riding in victorious as you, as yourself. The light, that inspiration, that creativity. and. One of my Tauruses out there, I know um, that this is very particular to you. There's something victorious that is coming um, with that Empress, with that Taurus energy. Uh, and it's coming with vulnerability and freedom. Uh, the Empress is vulnerable before that Venus, that love, that beauty. Uh, but her vulnerability is invulnerable because she's receptive. She's free to receive those energies and to create. And you're creating with healing. Uh, the um, Empress heals because healing is growth. Healing, we create through healing energy. And what is coming with this vulnerability and healing is uh, the energy of the Queen of Wands. Well, that passionate, fiery queen of psychic abilities you're using your psychic abilities. That's the vulnerability to tap into those inner resources, that being the light, uh, shining the light, uh, carrying that wand of light, of fire, with your black cat, because that is the black cat is healing. Uh, in many uh, traditions, they thought the black cat was a, a bad, evil, you know, but it's a healing energy a Taurus. 
and it's healing um, and it's going to be able to bring up uh, hidden information, uh, things you already know uh, that are deep within you. And once you uh, kind of tune into that, like the sunflower attunes into the sun, you're going to go toward that star. You're going to reach for it. And it's going to bring a peaceful resolution when you say yes to healing in all of its forms. And Taurus, that is going to come because you're going to express your highest self through all your senses. And your senses might be very heightened at this uh, moment. Um, and you might be developing one of your particular senses, such as clairaudience, clairvoyance, or just that inner knowing through active imagination to be able to be uh, transformed by an inner journey. And you could be asking for help from others outside of you uh, that are connected to the wind, to communication, and to stone, to things that are structured, that are lasting. And you're coming into this healing with a, a sense of Taurus uh, justice because it's true and right. It's the right outworkings of whatever it is you have been working on to harmonize everything uh, accordingly uh, to this balanced uh, vision. Uh, and the vision comes through Libra energy of balancing out relationships, balance it out uh, contracts, balancing out transactions at work or in the justice, some uh, legal situation. But you're going to see it truthfully and be confident. Uh, go for it. Know that it, what's right. And we're going into this energy of the wind and stone with the Hierophant. Well, that's again Taurus. You're showing up twice in your reading. So that is a double emphasizing the importance that, that reading will have. And the message here is that you are tapping in to truth, to justice, to the right way of doing something, the traditional way. That's the healing way. And you're going to be open uh, to the information that comes to you through your senses, but also that will restore your health by uh, having a peaceful resolution within perhaps your own body and a peaceful resolution with you and uh, another person. Uh, that is healing. When we're in, at odds with another, uh, there is not a sense of total harmony, and you're healing that because you're going to be the light with that owl of wisdom. You know what's wise for you. And you're, you're vulnerable, your vulnerability. Uh, my vulnerability is my strength uh, because I realize I can be open uh, because uh, the source has my back at all times. And once I know that, there's nothing to fear. And like the Native American uh, warriors, they rode uh, backwards with a broken arrow into battle because they trusted the Great Spirit to bring in this alliance uh, as above, so below, this initiation, the keys to the eternal kingdom um, initiated through justice, uh, through what is right, through karmic structures, uh, Akashic records that we um, bring in from our past lives and take out from this life uh, to that a sense of um, that whatever is going to bring in the message of uh, coming into strength, well, that was a very important card in the reading I did today for Sagittarius, uh, that sense with the collective um, that we're moving that uh, fire sign and the earth signs uh, toward strength, uh, toward this calibration, toward knowing um, how to love ourselves, how to uh, grow within our current situation and to calibrate uh, when I feel uh, fearful and want to retreat in and get into uh, crazy mixed up ways of thinking um, and projections and illusions. And when I uh, can calibrate and understand and have compassion for myself and others uh, that I can take my beast out for a walk 
and uh, I'm, it's like that, uh, you know, fairy tale, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, that is just the image of those parts of ourselves uh, that uh, we can love. We can love the beast, and once we do, we fall in love with that energy of taming that, uh, that uh, shadow side of ourselves and calibrating it. It's very powerful when we can use that. And it brings us a lot of uh, commitment to other people and to our faith, to our beliefs. And it's coming with uh, the sense of death. Well, wow, we have a lot of major arcana and the fool. And uh, these cards have been shuffled all day, but uh, it's, this is unbelievable. I'm speechless. But you're going in one direction. The past was death, and the future is the fool. A ponder that, Taurus. That is intense. Uh, and it's coming because of you're working on it. You're working on uh, this totally new beginning. Uh, you've been working on it. And it's working on it with this inner knowledge, this teacher of uh, this uh, traditional link you have to uh, the truth, to justice, to uh, the sense of balance, um, balancing the spiritual out in the physical world and vice versa. And you do that with this infinite uh, cycling of truth, of energy, of reality. So you can tame those energies, those instincts, those desires, those passions. Uh, and that's part of the healing process. It is at the core of it. And when you do that, you know you have the confidence and passion to uh, use your inner psychic abilities, but also to be victorious as this great uh, empress, that divine feminine. This is the earth itself. You're going to be victorious within the earth, on the earth plane, loving, beauty, nurturing, but also uh, taking this leap of faith. And look, they both look like they're moving toward the same energy, leaping out with vulnerability and also with freedom. And that is what I send for you and hope for you and um, express to you today, a Taurus, amazing. And it's coming because you are going to uh, let go of anything um, that is no longer serving you. And that healing process is coming. And it's coming with victory, success. And sending you so much love. And you came in your reading with uh, the Empress and the Hierophant. So amazing. Uh, it's vibrating very fast for you and in a very positive, grounded way. And express yourself through your throat. Uh, drink a lot of water. Purify. Be out in the wind with uh, that um, earth and that sense of letting things change by the forces around you and your senses. See you next time in sending you love, Taurus. Bye-bye.